Hi everyone, Julie Powell here. So let's jump in and have a look at the Lightroom print module. If you can't find it, it is up here. Just right click and you might have to turn it on. So you might find the ones that have no tick you can't see or you can just click show all. Then you can just click on the print module and it'll take you into here. Now you can do single or image um, contact sheets, picture package. What we're going to have a look at today is the custom package. So I'm going to jump straight in. I'm going to go through some of these and just quickly explain what they are and show you how we can put it all together. So um, this section up here to do with borders, I'm going to come back to that at the end. But basically, so you've got rules and guides and all the rest of it you can switch from inches to centimeters millimeters whatever you like you can have snap to grid so that your photos always snap to the grid you can turn your grid lines on and off um, this allows us to put different picture sizes in and i'll show you that in a tick um, and we can adjust the cell height we can rotate cells and we can lock photos to a certain aspect ratio now, what we want to get into is some of the stuff down here a little more. So we can pick the page color and you can have any background color that you want. If you just have that off, it defaults to white. It doesn't necessarily print white, um, but that will be your background in the end. Um, the identity plate, we're going to come back to that a little bit more. We're going to jump all the way down to the bottom. Now, it's a little bit silly how they have this last, but that's just one of the little quirks in Lightroom. So you need to come down here and decide what you're going to do. So are you going to print it to a JPEG or are you actually going to print it to an external printer? Um, you can actually go into your settings and you can set your print size. Um, set your resolution if it is for social media you could leave that set to 100 I'm going to change it to 300 ppi um, standard printing you can have sh um, print sharpening and things like that on there um, I'll just leave it as standard um, leave that as matte now your JPEG picture quality if you have it to 100 it will print or save as a JPEG to your custom dimensions that we're going to put in in a second. If you drop this down, it will shrink the overall size of your image. So if you want something at a particular size, but um, you want your JPEG quality dropped down a little bit, you sort of have to do a little bit of juggling. But for most things, you could probably leave it at 100. I'm going to do a 16 by 9 inch landscape image. Um, that's just the custom fold dimensions that I want to do. I also want it to be on sRGB. You could change it to whatever you want. You can increase the brightness and the contrast for the overall output if you want to from here. But I'm just going to leave that turned off for the moment. So now that I've got my size set, now I have to set out my grid. So I want this to be a triptych. So I'm going to go and just hit, it doesn't really matter what size because you can just change the size of it from here. So you can just come in and you can put in Now it will occasionally um, throw up a new page, which is fine. I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to click on the little X to get rid of that. Now I want these um, to be roughly sort of about a third. So I'm just going to move these over a little bit. And I've got those there. Now if I wanted to clear that, I could just clear it and, and go off again. Um, and I can put in new ones. Now they don't have to be this um, horizontal. You can do verticals. You can do whatever you want to do with it. 
Now that I've got those three set up and they don't have to be equal, you could have just a slither in the middle um, and have a widened on the edge. You can do whatever you want. So I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to pick three images to come up. And I've got my images set there. Now I'm just going to move that round a bit. Now we can come and do um, this is where I said we can pop back up to the top. So we can do a border on the images. We could also have a photo border. You don't, and you can change the size of the photo border or you can change the size of the inner border. Um, you don't have to have both. You don't have to have either. If you are having it, you can change the color. And if you click on here, you'll get other colors and then you can pick whatever you want. Another little quirk. Um, but if you just want to have like a back bo black border or something like that, um, the photo border is always going to be white, but you can have a black and a white border. Um, on this one, if you are doing something for um, social media, sometimes if you had a white border, the white doesn't always show up. So putting another color in can be nice, but you don't have to have any. Um, you can then play around by putting watermarking on and you can put um, your own particular um, watermark. So if I've got um, that is the little logo I put on some of my images, it will appear on every image. So that may not be what you want. You can also then put an identity plate on which will go over the entire image. And of course you can move that around. Um, you can click on here and go into edit. You can change what's written. So you can just have autumn color. You can change whatever font you want. You can change whatever color you want. You can do whatever you want with it. You can then save it as a particular thing. I do have a few saved in here. So I'm just going to come in here and just maybe check one of the other ones and pop in different identity plates. You can override that color. So if you want to put something particular in, again, if you click on here, colors will come up. And you can pick on a color. You can even pick if you keep your mouse, your left mouse button down, you can click one of the colors that is in your image. Um, but again, you don't have to have identity plates if you don't wish to. If you want to move things around, you can do that. If you have gone to one of the um, pre-made templates and you can make your own templates and you can save it and you can do whatever you want. You don't have to have um, a one that you make up every time. You can remake them again and again and again. You can keep them really simple. You can do whatever you want with them. But if you come in here and you want to make some changes, um, whether it's you want your JPEG quality up or if you want to change the size of it, you can. Um, you can do any of those changes. If you do want to come up to a picture package or a single package and they're doing something a little bit strange in their shape, just remember to go down and turn your custom file dimensions off then you could go back and click on that and it should go back to um, doing it properly. So um, lots of things that you can do with these, which is loads of fun. Um, I'm just going to go back into my basic 16 by nine triptych, which I had before. And going to put those in. I'm going to go up and turn my photo borders off. And it's changed size again. So I'm going to change that again. 
sometimes you do have to muck about a little bit okay so a couple of other things you might want to know if you want to move your image around if it doesn't quite fit if you hit control or command on a Mac you can move your image around if it's horizontal you can only move it left and right if it is vertical you can only move it up and down but you need to click on the image and just hit control and you can move it around so that's something else that's really handy to know too so I'm now just going to save it so I've got my JPEG I've got 300 ppi picture quality is 100 and I am going to save it to a JPEG so I just hit print to file and I am just going to call it Lightroom Trip 2. Now, if I want to save this one, I'm just going to go all the way over here and I'm going to save it as 16 by 9, 300 ppi trip. And then that makes sense to me. I know what it is then. So um, that will then um, go into my folder and that's it, all done. So you can make as many as you want. I've got lots of, of different ones that I have made. I find it just a little bit addictive. Um, I've done all sorts of um, ones where I have put in different things. Um, they're great if you wanted to print, you can move them around, you can make a collage. And it doesn't have to just be for um, social media. So if you were to come up to rulers and guides, if I put my guides on and I'm going to snap to grid, it should just snap to grid. And you can make them all nice and neat. Sometimes you do have to muck around with them a little bit to get them perfect. But using that snap to feature can help a little bit. And then you could come in. Obviously, this is not a wedge tailed eagle, but I've got lots of beautiful autumn colour. And this is just the identity plate, so. I can change that and then I've got a great little collage that I could print out if I wanted to okay so that's it for the print module I hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching bye for now